CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Parked at the uh, ingress point here, panning over. That's Turner. Turner. So I'm gonna be heading up that way. Fence right over there is uh, New Mexico. I'm pretty sure. Um, I didn't go any further just because I don't think I had to. Um, for my kind of little route, I went a little bit farther to meet another road, and I don't think that was necessary. Secondly. Um, it gets really soft over there. I've got all-wheel drive, but uh, it's not like locked four-wheel drive. And <laughs> I do not want to get stuck out here. It's a long, it's a long walk back. Um, I'm right on the Arizona New Mexico border you see this fence here um, there's a gate right there that I just basically walked over that little low spot there probably uh, looks like a little bit of vehicle traffic at some time makes a good uh, trail man this is so green and lush, just unbelievably gorgeous. I'm wrong with the GPS. Ah, I'm on a false summit. I'm about 9,000 feet. So, I guess my GPS was right. Anyway, been a beautiful hike. Uh, this was pretty darn steep. Look at that view, guys. Mescadilla. Moving around. Just amazing. Heavy forest up here. Looks like I have to go down into a ravine. I'm gonna try to avoid that. Take another look at the topos, but I found the place to get over the fence right here so that will make oof this thing really fell on it bent that sucker right over but the summit is on the New Mexico side where they well the designated the GPS coordinates are the activation zone 
Uh, I think it's a pretty big zone, but uh, we'll see. Looks like there's a fire break or some other trail going up the hill there. So on the New Mexico side, I'll definitely be taking that. So let's get cracking. a quick break uh, change the batteries in the HT I'd like to monitor 146.52 uh, in case there's a stranded hiker out here that's a national calling frequency um, mountain protocol is I think at the top of every hour you give a shout out if you have a problem like they may space it out even more 10 12 something or other go to uh, W6RIP's website he talks about it a lot I have enough battery to run for like two days monitoring more. So, uh, you know, 48 hours probably. Whole idea is to save power. I'm also scanning uh, uh, local repeaters just to see my uh, if I have access into them. And certainly from right here I do. So I have a SATCOM unit in the backpack. It's turned on right now pa uh, tracking me. And... Uh, I have a problem I can call out on the repeater, evidently. It's getting into it pretty well, I think. Let's go that way. Because that's where the darn summit is. You don't want to hear me talk. Only a little trail here. It goes across the face here. And then up. Or a bushwhack. Must have been a microburst right here. Man. I just knocked these aspen down like crazy. I'm right on a ridge line, but it's being made difficult by this little chaparral. Sorry for that interruption. I think that's the alpine repeater. Anyway, we'll get there. Escadilla, through the trees and then between those trees over there, Escadilla Butte in Arizona. We're here is New Mexico. Looks like Luna down there. Little town of Luna in that valley. Gorgeous day. Making this final pitch so difficult is just getting over all this fallen crap. It's wearing me out. Almost there though. Edge uh, where you just get up and it starts to flatten out as shown on the chart. Um, inserted right here to your right um, it's about 30 feet wide for a gentle drop off each direction Arizona to my right New Mexico to my left okay. this is unexpected this ridge line now is down about six feet kind of a steep drop off to the right and to the left but you gotta go over all these damn rock. No wonder this thing's never been activated. Jesus. Another option to this ridge line is go up the New Mexico side. This is this is really Boulder City here. Okay. Rather than follow this ridge line, which keeps even narrower, oh well, six inches up there. <laughs> I'm going to go down to the New Mexico sign and, and follow that. Uh, steeper given my technical skills, although I'm being very careful testing every handhold and step. Um, no reason to take any chances on that shit. And it's sharp as hell. It's all um, lava, cinder and shit. Hey, and good news, I don't see any thunderstorms except way the hell over there. That's a big popcorn. So at least we'll be able to activate today. So down and up we go. Here's the ridge line I was talking about. <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> Looks like something out of The Hobbit from just below that rock face was a perfect little path. Boom, around those rocks. Here's the ridge line, come up to a little saddle. Looks like we are just about in the activation zone, people. 
one final obstacle as I work for the top here. I'm within the activation zone, but we're going to the peak today. Is <laughs> a massive thicket of aspen. These guys are coming back with a vengeance. There's some other new uh, pine in here too, so it's always good to see. Um, so let's get up there and launch some RF people. The summit, because there's nothing higher around me, and there's the benchmark. Survey marker, whatever you call it. And stick with oak in here. I think I'll set up my antenna. Hook it to one of these dead ones. Run a counterpoise and get in the shade. Beautiful view in that little valley there. Um, there's a road along that. Looks like the some ranches up up in the next meadow. Um, just gorgeous. Looking up into New Mexico right now. Uh, you're looking east, north, east, then up into the deserts that way. There's Escadilla. You probably can't see it on video, but uh, the Escadilla lookouts there. Some big monsoonal buildup over uh, probably Baldy coming up over the rim. Nothing heading in on me yet, so this is awesome. Uh, looking over to Arizona now, of course. Uh, that way, uh, let's see, Escadilla is in Arizona, uh, Baldy to the west, now looking around to the south. Give you a little heads up here. I don't know if you can see around. Beautiful views from up here. Oops. Beautiful views. <clears throat> We're flying bugs. Okay. What you're looking at there is a reason to carry a first aid kit. Um, Ham Ninja wasn't so smooth when he was without a pack, walking down the hill, getting his counterpoise set up, and um, fell backwards on a stick. So, yeah, that was painful. But...
CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie, Lima, Charlie, calling CQ, CQ, CQ for someone that's on the air, any station, anywhere. CQ, 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 November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie calling CQ, CQ, CQ for some on the air. November 0, Echo Mike Uniform. Uh, November 0, Echo Mike Uniform, QSL. QSL, uh, you're about a 5-7 in Colorado, 5-7 Colorado. Roger, roger, I got you 5-5 five, five on the mountain, over. Alright, thank you for the 5-5 five, five, and thanks for the activation, 7-3. Uh, 73, this is a brand new activation up here. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Good morning. Whiskey Zero, Mike. November Alpha. 65, Golf Alpha, India. Okay, Whiskey Zero, Mike, November Alpha. Welcome to Whiskey 5 November slash Alpha Pop 004. First activation. Oh, QSL, that's great. Glad to hear that. Always looking for a new one. You're 5 9 up here. Yeah, Roger, Roger. You're coming in 5 9 here as well. Roger that. Have fun on that summit then. Roger, Roger, Roger. N1CLC, summit's on the air. 55, Golf Alpha India. Five, Whiskey Five, Golf Alpha India. Okay, I got a Whiskey Five, Golf Alpha India, QSL. QS Baker here, QS Baker, Whiskey Five, Golf Alpha India. Five, 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 five in Mississippi, over. Roger, Roger. That's uh, just want to confirm. Well, I screwed up here. I apologize. It's uh, Whiskey Five Golf Alpha India. Is that right? Uh, that's Roger. Whiskey Five Golf Alpha India. Thanks very much. All righty. Thank you. N1 CLC. The summit's on the air at Whiskey Five November slash Alpha Pop zero zero four. Kilo Charlie zero Papa Bravo Romeo. Uh, Kilo Charlie Station. Go again. Okay, I got a Kilo Charlie Zero, Paps Blue Ribbon. Roger, Roger, you're always about a 5-5 here in Callahan, Colorado this morning. Yeah, Roger, Roger, I got you at about a 5-5-5-6 five, five, uh, five, here, actually. Rod, Roger, Roger, N1 CLC, Summit's on the air. Okay, already passed the first saddle. Um, avoided that jagged ridge line that I thought was so cool. Definitely would not be cool with a puncture in your leg, so I'm just going to take it easy. Hardest damn part of this hike is getting through this stuff that you're looking at. But weather moving in, making the peaks beautiful. I got weather on both sides. Oh, hopefully I can make it to the car before it starts pouring. I'm speaking to you from New Mexico. You right now are currently in Arizona. So is my foot. I'm right on the border. Take a look at the chart to the right. Agree. All right, back in New Mexico, back um, down to the car. Following this fence line down seems to be a little bit better choice than a little bit different route. I was pretty close to it, but there tends to be a natural trail next to it as animals come up to the fence and maybe walk down and then hop over. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, something I'm learning. And I'm just taking it really easy. I love this fence repair job. <laughs> they just went ahead, put a log that put it along the top. That works. With the clouds overhead, this is a beautiful little trail. Uh, it looks like a game trail, a horse trail, something. Really pretty down here. And. Just like outside of Bilbao, the painted forest. Except they only had one color. <laughs> I gotta send this to Joe Sue. He took me to the 
painted forest. It was really cool. Outside of Bilbao, Spain, we have our own painted forest here. As you can see, all the lines kind of line up. All right. The good news is, um, got up, made the activation, got back down before uh, before it started raining. You can hear the uh, thunder off to my left there. Um, bad news is, I'm gonna have to go to the dam, uh, get some sutures. Uh, turns out when you fall backwards into a stick that's coming out of a log, that uh, tends to do a little damage. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful hike. Um, <laughs> I got injured just at the top, so went ahead and activated and uh, hobbled down. I'm out of here. But wait for part two. The adventure continues. Don't know if you can see it. I'll see if I can zoom in, but there's a one, two, three, four elk over there. I got some pictures, so maybe I'll stick it into the video feed. Beautiful guys. Light rain.